Metal Gear Solid released in 1998 and is one of the best video games of all time. And recently, the PC version from the year 2000 became available on GOG.com. But is it the best way to play this game on PC? Well, in this video we're going to take a look at all of the options. First, let's take a look at emulation. There are several PS1 emulators out there, but the one I would recommend is Duck Station. Duck Station is one of the best PS1 emulators available, especially if you want to play at high resolutions. It features a nice graphic UI that's easy to use and several enhancement options. What you're seeing now is Duck Station running at high resolution and with PGXP enabled. PGXP is a system that tries to improve accuracy on the 3D rendering to remove the polygon wobble and texture warping that the PS1 has due to its limited hardware. As you can see, it does a good job, but there's still a bit of wobble. I'm also using XBR texture filtering to improve the look of the low resolution textures. The emulator also has an option to render 3D correctly in widescreen modes. But I'm not too much of a fan of that because the UI is still going to be stretched, as you can see. Now, if you're like me and prefers to play the game the way it looks on real PS1 hardware, DuckStation can obviously also do that. However, personally, I prefer using a different emulator for that. That emulator is Mednafin. I hope I pronounced that right. This emulator is a bit more complicated to use since it doesn't have a graphic UI. The reason I like it is because it has this gold CRT shader that, in my opinion, looks awesome. Anyway, if you want to use this emulator and is interested to know how to set it up, leave a comment below and maybe I'll make a tutorial video later. Last thing I want to talk about is the overclocking feature on Duck Station. It's an option to run the emulator at a faster rate, but not like a turbo mode, where the game runs at faster speed. Overclocking makes it possible to increase the FPS in certain games. In the case of MGS1, unfortunately the game is capped at 30 FPS. However, the overclocking mode can still improve performance in areas which the PS1 would have FPS drops, like this one. With overclocking mode on, the game plays at 30 FPS at all times, so I recommend leaving it on. So here are my setting screens for PS1 graphics. You can pause and check. And here are my settings for high resolution graphics. Now, let's take a look at the PC version. Well, I'll be honest here, this is one of the worst PC ports I've ever seen, so the list of problems is gonna be long. So let's get started. Cutscenes play at 25 FPS instead of 30. It also plays at a slightly slower speed because of that. Color filters are displayed incorrectly. Even when set to full screen, the game is presented in a small box that doesn't fill up the whole screen. The game uses linear texture filtering, so textures are blurry when compared to the PS1. Depth of field is gone. Motion blur is also gone. There are some artifacts in some textures. Whenever the stealth camel is on screen, the FPS drops regardless of your PC config. FMV cutscenes play on a tiny box on the center of the screen and there are no subtitles. The scene where Psycho Mantis reads your mind is completely removed, so the boss fight starts out of nowhere. Also, to be able to beat him, you have to play using the keyboard if you don't want to use the statues method, and the keyboard controls are terrible. The audio effects has, have terrible quality and background noise that's very noticeable. And the quality of the music is also low. Not only that, it's missing a few tracks, like the boss fight song. So yeah, this is a pretty bad way to play this classic. I would definitely not recommend this version. The only good thing I can say about it is that it has way less polygon wobble and texture warping. That's it. 
Anyway, if you're trying to play this game on PC, I recommend using DuckStation. It's currently the best option on PC. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give a like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Revolver Arsenal. Awesome.